Uh, yes, today I'm going to uh, do a quick how-to on how to make a, uh, a power sword in, in 40k or it could be a, a magical sword in, in Warhammer um, look really cool and magical and powerful. So come, come and have a look. This is uh, one I've prepared on this Inquisitor model. As you can see, I've just gone for a sort of a fiery electrical effect and it's really surprisingly quick and easy to do so this is the model I'm going to show you on it's uh, another Inquisition model and as you can see I've just taken the the whole sword up to uh, yellow and then I've just crossed some some white paint over the length of the sword just to lighten it up and you'll see why um, in a bit so the first step is to take your fine detail or detail brush, grab your blood red, and then just take a small bit out, always adding uh, just a little bit of water to make the, uh, the paint flow um, across the sword because you don't want it to get stuck in lumps. And what I want, as you, as you can see on the other one, is for the middle to look like it's, it's intensely heated, so the exterior around the sword is cooler with the red. And now that I've done the edge, I'm just putting a bit of red paint from the edge of the sword into the middle. As you can see, making sure that there's enough left in the middle at this point um, for you to tell that there's yellow fire burning underneath. Doing the other side now, just the same as uh, as before. Now, I've decided to go with uh, this colour scheme because um, for the Inquisition, classically use a lot of fire to uh, destroy their uh, their heretic enemies. So, continuing that theme into the uh, into the the power swords um, is what I've decided to do. Okay, so now we've got. Uh, the entire edge of the sword covered in red. What you've got to do is make sure you've got really watered down uh, red paint on your on your brush, a small amount of it, and you need a steady hand for this part because you're going to make slight uh, red lightning strikes across the uh, the whole so whole sword. Um, you know, using as much of it as as you as you want. So let me show you what I, what I mean. Okay, so now the, the next and final step, um, barring any mistakes, is to take uh, the white paint again and make sure that's got a bit of water in it to make sure that it flows smoothly and do the same sort of effects but instead of down the middle it's from the edge of the sword um, across it. So again let me show you what, what I mean by that. You might, depending on um, how much pigment you have in the paint, you might have to do several coats of this, which takes a steady eye as well, because you need you want to uh, cross over the same lines that you're making. Okay, so there you can see the the final products pretty quick to do, all we need to do now is uh, just tidy up the metal parts around the sword um, and that's all there is to it. Um, so I hope you found that useful, enjoyed uh, watching that little tutorial. Um, if you've got any questions about that style of painting or any other questions about anything else related to um, uh, my, my work then I'd love to hear from you and I'll uh, reply uh, on Twitter at my handle uh, at bitsblog, all one word.